First shitty cooking here. First time that I've cooked really in this kitchen outside of some very basic stuff. And on top of that, uh, I'm very hungover. As you can see, I have a mic behind me because my oven's over here and my stove top. And then I got mic over there. Um, <clears throat> bad cam tilt, ew. The cam is not tilted, it is shifted to the side. I'm going to be doing braised short rib with wine. It's a, it's a pretty cheap wine, it's like an $8 bottle of wine, okay? But this is good for meats. Bourbon barrel aged Cabernet Sauvignon. Braised short rib, that's gonna take anywhere between two to three hours. And then mashed cauliflower. So instead of mashed potatoes, because those are difficult to mash and I don't have a potato masher as we've seen in shitty cooking, we're gonna do mashed cauliflower for the base of the uh, braised short rib. And I think that's all I got, I think. Oh, and deviled eggs. We got deviled eggs too, baby. I'm so amped for the deviled eggs. Also, I had to get a, uh, a brand new uh, item for the kitchen for this because I didn't have something that would fit. So we have ourselves our first Dutch oven, which I'm amped to use. Stop putting stickers on things. Yep, yep, one, one pull. That's what we want. So what do I need for, let's start off with the braised short rib because that's gonna take the longest. I need to use the Dutch oven. I got five pounds of bone-in beef short rib. Fridge check, first of the new place. This is actually tilted, by the way. What do we got inside the fridge? Looking pretty stacked. So what is my first step? It has been so long since I've cooked. Shut up. You're gonna hear trains, by the way. Perfect, I have it. This is the most janky setup. Two microphones, two cameras, whole lot of dick. Do you need to season all sides of this? I guess so, right? Pepper, salt. Why didn't I put them down? Why didn't I put them down on the same side? Now they're just like, <laughs> I'm not gonna remember which sides I need to do. What'd you guys get for Christmas? What was your favorite thing that you got? Nothing? Nice, dude. Honestly, sick. Come on, brother, look at that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's browning time and I'm not talking the machine gun. How much oil? Enough, right? Like, I wish you guys had a better angle than that. The cactus is real. This is my boy. Meet everybody. Say hi to Doug. I named him Doug because um, Doug Trio is metal. This is ceramic, right? This is this pot is ceramic, right? So I can use metal on it. Ooh, it's got that good sizzle, baby. Well, well, well. You guys are literally on the stove, though. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure the tripod doesn't melt. It won't, dude. This is an Amazon Basics tripod. You think they just sell me an um, a, a, a meltable tripod for $7.95? Are you kidding me? No, you bitch. Don't be rude to your meat. Listen, I beat my meat regularly. Like quite often, I just beat the shit out of it. And you're gonna tell me not to be rude? Meat's gonna learn today. Hey, stand up. Stand up. Damn, this looking good, bro. Pour off all but three tablespoons of dripping from the pot, cool. No short shorts, bruh. You're right, they're not that short, but you know, they're still shorts. It's even cheaper than an OnlyFans and I still give you some fucking thigh. Uh, this is the only kind of Christmas tree I want anyone to get me, all right? This is the only type of Christmas tree I ever wanna see. This fucking meat mound. Carrots look like the Grinch's fingers. Thoughts? I'm assuming that I want them like this, right? Shouldn't you skin them, peel them? Well, you see, uh, that's fine. But look at how much I'm shaving off, dude. I'm gonna have like 12% of my carrot left. It wasn't good, but it wasn't bad either. All right, this is the first time I've used a knife in like three months. So if I cut myself, just know it's not self-harm. I just want you guys to be able to see when I cut my finger off. Three onions, diced, chopped. Chopped? What's the difference? What's the difference between chopped and diced? Diced is squash, small square pieces. Yeah, so what's chopped? Big size piece? All right, so look. Like that size? There's a lot of onion, guys. 
Into the pot you go. Chat, we're going on a trip. You really want to eat chunks of onion that big? Yes. Next question. Yeah, some of these are pretty sizable, but that's I. Right. Now get yourself all caught up. Caramelized. There we go. Look, yeah. Now we're cooking with onions. Three tablespoons. One, one of these. Well, because half of it got stuck in here. All right, stir. Fuck, I'm gonna have to open the wine. Ah, shit. Ah. Was this what I was supposed to do? Yeah, I think so. Well, too late to turn back. All right, so while this is reducing, what now? We got more shit to make. Deviled egg time, baby. All right, so devil, uh, how do you boil eggs? Okay, soft, hard boiled eggs, water in, bring to a boil, put top on, let's sit for 15, 12 to 15 minutes. Do I have a top? Oh shit. Turn that off, take this off heat, put this on. Great, and we're gonna put that meat in there, and then we're gonna put it in the oven for two hours. Fuck, two whole hours till I get to eat? I'm starving, dog. I'm gonna die. Open. Two celery stalks, chopped. Two sprigs of rom ro rosemary? Two sprigs of rosemary. Four sprigs of oregano. How much thyme? Eight sprigs of thyme? Oh, that's so many sprigs. Tie them together and it'll take them out easier? Oh, you're smart. You're a genius, but how do I tie them together? Am I a genius? I'm gonna tie it together with a sprig of parsley. I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't. People always said parsley is nature's rope. Add all herb to pot along with garlic. Fuck, garlic? One head of garlic have crosswise. That's easy, smile, everybody smile, that's super easy. Just stick the whole garlic in there. All right, bet. Don't say wait, it's too late. You can't say wait. What do you mean wait? You know what, fuck it, dude. Add all herbs, stir in stock, bring no boil, cover, transfer to oven, cook until short ribs are tender to them. Okay. Um, what now? What did I do? I don't know. Fuck, I need ice. I have ice. I have a lot of ice. How long, like 10 minutes for the ice bath, right? So it's time to make cauliflower? Uh, I'm not, I'm, I haven't eaten today. I'm malding. I'm so hungry. All I have is this bag of all-purpose flour in front of me and like seven celery sticks. I'm like, <laughs> what is going on on the underside of a ca cauliflower? Bro, I see these things in the store and they look so cute with their, it's just a bunch of little white little broccoli and then I open this thing up and I got like, what kind of fucking Patrick Star looking ass? This thing is so much. I guess I can just like, wow, that's so much easier. Where's cauliflower native to? Like, where did cauliflower grow up? Earth? Oh, sick. Uh, let's put cauliflower on hold because I'm just stressed and hungry. And once I get these eggs in me, I'll be way happier. Like, infinitely happier. Let's see how good we can do. I'm trying to make restaurant quality hard boiled eggs. I've already failed. All right, now I'm just trying to make eggs that I could serve to people that I cared about. God, I forgot how much pain in the ass this is. Peel that shit under running water, my guy. On God, really? Oh man, this one fucking crushed it. Oh my God, oh! I don't need no water for this one. You guys are missing the best egg of my life. Look at this thing. Look at it, balder than Tim's head. If you open the bottom and crack a little hole on the top, you can blow the egg out. The blow method works, just try it with one egg. Okay, hold on. Crack the bottom. And then a hole on the top. Now crack the top. Well, what did I learn today? I should say thank you to every woman I've ever been with, apparently. I would not last in prison. That's how, that's what I know. Settle down, ice machine, fuck. Come on. Come on. What? Some of these eggs are fact new, but most of them are looking pretty tough, pretty battle scarred. Do we go with the Great Paul, Dijon, or do we fuck around and go with the stone ground mustard? It's Christmas, I'm treating myself, you know what I'm saying? It's Christmas, it's Crimbus, it's Cramus, it's Crambo. 
My neighbors are home. I hope they can't hear me. Dinner's ready! Dinner! One teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Mix. Mayonnaise, I need that. <laughs> I was like, why is it so dry? Four tablespoons of mayonnaise. Beat the fucking shit out of these devil's eggs. I'll do a real taste test. Art! Oh my god, I haven't eaten in like six years. Oh my god. Bro, fuck it. I don't really, I literally don't care. It tastes pretty good. It tastes good to me. I'm eating the rest of these. <laughs> when you think about it, egg whites are just spoons for the egg yolk. All right, let's try and make these look as fake cute as possible, all right? Imagine you're in an Instagram ad. I made a Christmas tree, fuck you. How much time do I have left on the ri ribs? An hour and 17 minutes, this is perfect, okay. Bring a large pot of water to a boil. Add cauliflower and cook until tender for 10 minutes. Drain well. Remove as much excess water as possible. Return to the pot and mash cauliflower with a potato masher. I don't have one. Good. Splendid, some would say. Shit, what do I do now? So I'm doing this. Um, um, how am I going to do the gingerbread house? I think I can just set it up. Wait, is this upside down? Bro, what? It's pre-built! And part of the roof is fucked! What the fuck? What's the fucking point? What is the point of a fucking pre-built gingerbread house? Why are there instructions? What instructions could you possibly have for me? Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we do the traditional little loop-de-loops, okay? We'll hit them with these. What is this? Fondant, are you kidding me? You know what I should do? Let's make, let's make Pepe. <laughs> there he is. All right, there, there you are, chat, that's you. Come on, I didn't heat it up enough. No, it's so fucking not no! It's so... I needed to heat it up more. Alright, now you gotta do it the easy way, right? No way. Bro, this... <laughs> Fuck this fucking gingerbread house, man! I swear on God, this thing sucks dick. I hate it. I'm out of here. Yo, this shit tender. I don't need to... Fuck. I'm just gonna... Oh, this is tender. No! How did I... What happened to it? I had it in my cart. Oh my... Alright, fuck it. We'll use butter. I don't know. Enough to make it creamy? Fine. Okay. This is it. This is fine. The cauliflower mash. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little more. Get a nice little spray here. I can't see shit! <laughs> my fucking glasses! <laughs> Looking pretty good, bro. Dog. Yo! No! Ow! That's hot. Who knew? Oh my god. Guys, I think I did- Oh no! Beat down! I think I did alright. I think I kind of crushed this one. Oh my god, I'm so fucking amped. Okay. <laughs> alright, I'll, I'll show you guys. Hold on. All right, let's get our, I don't know how to plate, by the way. Like, I literally, wait, I need a spoon for this, you dumb fuck. <laughs> I 
Wait, this looks so good, bro. Should I just take the bone out? Oh. Get a little cauliflower. Get a little carrot. Get a little cute. Get a little celery in that bit. Hmm. You know what I could have done? Turn the fat. And maybe a little more salt. The mash came out really good. Either that or maybe like um, if I had browned the if I had browned the fat side a little bit better. I think the best part about this is the, the, oh, the wine, the bourbon barrel aged wine was the correct choice. You can still taste it. I mean, this is Merry fucking Christmas to me. The mash would be better if it was a puree. I kind of fucked up on that. I think if I did this again, I would do a longer and lower cook on the meat. The meat is a little too... The meat's good. Really good. But like, for like a braised short rib, you almost want that shit to just like melt, right? Well, it's not chewy, it's, it's, it's meat. It's just not like, it's not as tender as I thought it would have been. But I also did get literally the budget meat. I got six, seven dollar a pound meat. Is it good? Yes. But I'm trying to be like objective with everything and be like, ah, like what could I have done better? I think I'm done, guys. Man, first shitty cooking in the new place. I'm not gonna lie, it feels kind of cool, but weird. Thanks for hanging out with me on Christmas day. I, I really appreciate it. Um, other than that, I probably would have been drunk and sad and alone, but instead I was drunk and sad and with people.